In outer space, there are stars that consume the energy of neighboring stars like real vampires. They live for billions of years and remain unusually active and vibrant in spite of the laws of stellar evolution. And these are not the only mysterious objects in our galaxy. Space is filled with anomalies that once you learn about them will amaze you. The blue straggler stars were discovered in the middle of last century, but scientists couldn't explain the reasons for their prolonged youthfulness until now. A 10-year observation of the globular star cluster NGC 188, containing numerous stars, among which 21 blue straggler stars were discovered, showed that most of these stars exist in binary systems and have a companion. These might be extinct white dwarfs or maybe large and bright stars. The blue straggler stars suck hydrogen from their satellite stars, using it to heat up and maintain their youth. Now, astronomers have discovered that there's a second type of straggler star. These are stars that receive their fuel when they collide with and completely absorb the companion star. The latest studies of the Hubble Space Telescope in the globular Messier 30 cluster show that when two adjacent stars merge, their nuclear fuel combines and the nuclear fusion process flares up with renewed vigor. Observations led to the conclusion that newly formed stars have different properties. This suggests that in the cluster, star rejuvenation occurs in both scenarios at the same time. But vampire stars are not the only mystery for astrophysicists. Ten years ago, it was discovered that the matter of our galaxy is covered with waves. These waves could not come from out of nowhere. Somewhere very close to the Milky Way, there was something causing this ripple. Scientists couldn't identify this mysterious object. Just recently, the culprit was found. It was discovered by the Gaia Space Telescope, and it turned out to be a very unusual dwarf galaxy called Antlia 2. The galaxy revolves around the Milky Way at a distance of 420,000 light years and is extremely small, about 7 to 8,000 light years across. It also has a record low star population density. This galaxy was always there, but it wasn't easy to find due to how dim it is and its location. It was hiding behind the bright lights of the stars on the edge of the Milky Way. According to scientists, the ghost galaxy lost most of its stars right after a collision with the Milky Way. But this ghost galaxy is not the only strange phenomenon within the Milky Way. Near Sagittarius A, which, according to scientists, is a giant black hole, there's a bright blue star called S2. It circles the black hole effortlessly at a speed of 3,107 miles or 5,000 kilometers per second. But how does it manage to overcome the gravity of the black hole? Why, when approaching the black hole, isn't the star torn into pieces? Scientists are wondering how it got there. If it drifted to the center of the galaxy, then how can we explain its very young age? S2 is a bright young star, no older than 10 million years, and it's obviously quite young to have made such a long journey. Astrophysicists have yet to figure out how it could appear near the black hole by itself, but the fact remains the S2 star does not succumb to Newton's law of gravity. But it can be explained by the laws of the general theory of relativity. A gravitational redshift occurs. The very strong gravitational field of the black hole stretches the light waves emitted by the star, making them longer. The change in the wavelength of light coming from S2 is consistent with the predictions of Einstein's theory. In the case of this star, this phenomenon has been observed for the first time and has never been witnessed anywhere else. A black hole, like a magnet, attracts other cosmic anomalies to itself. At least five more mysterious objects appear to revolve around the central black hole. Astronomers call them G-objects. 
Previously, only two examples of such strange galactic inhabitants were known, G1 and G2. Both were believed to be clouds of interstellar gas and dust until they approached a black hole. Somehow, they managed to survive the gravitational attraction of the hole, and therefore the nature of these phenomena must be different than what was thought. But later, three more identical objects were discovered, called G3, G4, and G5. So, maybe these are previously unidentified stars. Astronomer Mark Morris of the University of California considers these objects to be stars, but in some way unusual. They are bloated stars. Their diameter is quite large, so the tidal forces of the supermassive black hole absorbs part of the material from their stellar atmospheres when these objects get near to it. But the massive core of the star somehow remains unharmed. It remains only to find an explanation for why these objects are so large. Perhaps they're the result of a collision of two stars orbiting each other under the influence of black hole gravity. The collision energy displaced the material of the outer shells of both predecessor stars to a size far beyond that of ordinary stars, creating huge G objects. So far, science knows of only five such objects, but there could be many more. Astronomers are scanning outer space every day in search of new instances. Being mysterious and unknown is enough to get attention not only nearby in the heart of the galaxy. The star with the long name KIC 8462852, or TABI for short, in the constellation Cygnus is another mystery for astrophysicists. Scientists were interested in its strange bright bursts. The star attracted attention in 2015. The Kepler telescope recorded its inexplicable decrease in brightness. For a short period of time, the star faded by as much as 3% and then another 1.5%. Science so far has not been able to explain the nature of the stable fading of the star. Meanwhile, American scientists refuted the theory of the strange fading star as they stated that twice in 2007 and 2014, the brightness of the star increased significantly, and this completely contradicted most of the hypotheses put forward earlier. In the scientific world, it was believed that changes in the brightness of a star can be observed only in one direction, fading. A pulsating star has become a new mystery for researchers, the processes of which they have yet to adequately study and explain. While some scientists are puzzling over the nature of light bursts in the constellation Cygnus, others are trying to explain how a relatively young star could have flared up in the Monoceros constellation and exceed the luminosity of the Sun by 600,000 times. We are talking about the star V838 Mon. For unknown reasons, in January 2002, the outer shell of V838 Mon suddenly expanded, making this star the brightest in the entire Milky Way. Then it suddenly became weak again. In the following two months, the Hubble Space Telescope recorded several more of these flashes. At first, scientists suggested that it was a white dwarf that sucked gas from its companion star until it had accumulated enough mass and flared up like a thermonuclear torch. But the catch was that supernovae don't explode three times in a row in a very short period of time. Did these flashes mean the death of a giant star? Or did two stars maybe collide? Or did one star devour three giant planets in a row? There are no answers to these questions. It's only known that a flash of light was reflected from the nearest gas dust cloud surrounding the star rapidly with a variety of changing colors. The sight turned out to be spectacular, 
Only the nature of this cloud is also not clear. Perhaps this is a substance discarded by a star several thousand years ago. Scientists are at a loss, but agree on one thing. V838 Mon today is an unknown variation of a star flare for which science has no explanation. How many more mysteries does the universe hide from us? How many puzzles do astrophysicists have left to solve? Is it even possible to explain and understand what lies tens, hundreds, or hundreds of thousands of light years from us? Will scientists be able to explain all the questions and find all the answers? And what would happen if space became an open book for humanity? Who knows, maybe in the future, discussing space news will be as ordinary as talking about the weather. But for now, the abyss of space hides many more mysteries. And if you want to be one of the first to discover all these secrets, then subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends. Write in the comments which anomaly struck you the most. See you soon.